Hello everybody and welcome back to the Druniverse channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing if you like what you see. Uh, we're trying a new format so you can actually get to see me this time. So if you like that, leave a comment, let me know. Um, so today we're going to talk about something that I've been wanting to talk about for a while. Um, it was one of the first YouTube videos I wanted to make, but it took me a while to get there. So it's about eventing. How to fashion. Fashion 101, the fashion event. Uh, so there are three type different events that happen in High Rise. You have your fashion, your collect, and your prank. So I would like to cover all of them, but right now we have fashion going on. Um, so that's what we're going to talk about. So let's, let's break it down a little bit. Why do you want an event? What, what's the point? Um, well, you get all kinds of rewards. You can earn bubbles, gold, items. Um, and if you don't like the items, you can sell the items and turn them into gold. Uh, and anyway, we all want more gold, right? So that's really the reason that we'd want to event. Also, maybe you can get a nice trophy sometimes out of the event, which is kind of cool. Um, so let's talk a little bit about it. So we know that there's an event going on. We know there's fashion going on because of this little icon in the corner. So if I click on this, we can see what we have. It's the, the fairy challenge, style challenge. And the first one is the fabulous Fay, right? Um, so this kind of gives us all of our information here. You can see my current judge rank, my current model rank. Um, we can see the theme. We can see my current boosts. If we look up top, um, we can get to the event shop. All things that we're gonna cover in a second, but. Um, for now, let's just keep scrolling and I want to, let's look at, let's talk about, let's see what high rise, how they break down their event. Uh, basically they say, submit your look, vote for your favorite outfit and win tickets and prizes. And that, that's a very simplified way of putting it, but, um, I'm going to break it down a little bit more for us. So step one, we need to submit our look, right? So let's go there. The first thing we have to do is go to the room. And so the fashion room looks like this and we can see a bunch of people running. You got your stage in the center. Um, you got two grabs over here, but if we want to go and we want to talk to this lady all the way down here and what she's going to do for us is allow us to submit our fashion for the event. Um, so I've already submitted for the fabulous Faye, um, but let's click and look. So there are different themes and you're supposed to dress the theme. I think that's the goal. That was what High Rise wanted it to be. But what it has become is put on as many auras as you can, make your character as big as you can, and that will get the most votes. So in this case, you see, I'm going to edit my avatar just to show you. I've got all these different auras going on, lots of stuff to look at. Um, but it doesn't look very fairy, does it? So we're just kind of, this is just kind of how we have to do it now. So once you've built your avatar, up to how you want it. If you submit the look, um, it allows you to enter and now your avatar will show up in the judging portion, which we're gonna talk about next. Um, so really for modeling, the, the biggest tip for when you're submitting is just make your avatar huge. All the auras you got, everything you got, just throw it on. Um, and you can change your look as many times as you want during the event and it will just update for everybody else. Um, and you could submit for the next theme too. So themes come in two day cycles, starting on that Thursday usually. And then um, there's three themes. So every two days we shift to the next theme. Um, so we can submit for the next one, but I'm not going to right now. So what's the next portion? We want to talk about judging. So judging, we come to this middle center console and we click on the bubble up top. And here's where we actually can judge. So if we hit this, let's go, we get started. So the main thing we want to do here is we want to vote for the avatar or the person who has the most stuff on because that's who we want to vote who the for the person who has the most votes and typically that's how it works um, and our goal with this is we want to hit a 10 a streak of 10 if we can hit a 10 streak then we're going to earn the most tickets so right now you can see i have a streak of three um, and i'm earning three thousand tickets but it, and we'll see, I'll show you as we go up. So um, you have two hearts here and the glass is on the bottom. The pink heart is for the person on the left, the blue heart's for the person on the right. That's pretty self-explanatory. So I'm gonna go with the person on the left because they have the most stuff on. So there you go, 64% agreed with me. So now we're at a streak of four. So we just earned 3,000 tickets 
and we move on. So here we go. We have the person on the left or the right. This is a tricky one already. So I'm thinking person on the right. Oh gosh. So if you can't tell, this is where the item on the bottom comes in. And these are, these. you only get so many of these, so use them wisely. Um, but because I'm doing a video and I don't want to lose the streak, I'm going to use one. But if we click on the glasses, what it's going to do, and I would have said right, so let's see what happens. Um, it'll automatically vote for the person with the most votes. So if I go this, see I would have lost, right? So it was the person on the left. Um, but see it automatically, and because I had a five streak, now we're getting 4,000 tickets. So let's keep going. So now we have the person on the left or the person on the right. I'm gonna go person on the left because they have the most auras on and say we got it. So we keep going, person on the left here, most auras. That was a streak of seven and now you see I'm getting 13,000 tickets. Um, and now we can earn 18,000. So we're gonna go person on the right because they have the most um, and then person on the right again because they have the most. And then for the final one, person on the left, because they have the most. And you can see I'm going to get 44,000 tickets for this one. So once you hit that streak of 10, you get this max combo reached on the top, and you get an item. So we got a battery for, in this case here. Um, and now we just click, and we see what we got. So 44,000 tickets, and we got a battery. So cool. Um, so then now your streak restarts. So you just want to keep hitting those 10. You're going to get 15 energy per hour. So the way to maximize your tickets and earn the highest rank in the fashion event is just logging on every hour and doing your 15 votes. Um, I know it can get tedious, but that's just how you're gonna get the most tickets. So I'm gonna go with the person, okay, here we go. So um, I'm out of energy. Now I can wait. You can see it ticks down every four minutes. Or so, every four minutes you get an energy. So I have three minutes left till I get one energy. Or you have these other items called batteries and we can use the batteries to automatically give us either seven energy or 15 energy so right here we have the 17 we, i'm going to use a small battery and what that judge did is it gave me seven more energy to use um, and you're going to want to use those you know we'll talk about when to use those later on in the tips and tricks um, section so now i can go through and vote so i got that one wrong actually i went left it should have i should have gone right um, so I'm gonna, I went left, I'm gonna go right, left, I'm just gonna, oh, I screwed up. So I'm already screwing up. So the, some of these can get tricky. I'm gonna go right, and then I'm gonna go left again. So here we go, I'm gonna go right. Okay, we're already out of energy, so that was our seven. Um, so you get the, the picture of what you're doing for the fashion. For judging, you're just gonna judge the looks, vote for the biggest, the most auras, the most stuff on, and you'll typically do pretty well. So let's talk about some more stuff. So these guys over here in the corner, we have two, two, these two ladies over here who are grabs. So what do these grabs do, right? If we click on this one on the left, um, you can see all these boosts that we get. And that's a, so 1.3 times, six times. And if we finish the entire grab by collecting everything on here, uh, all 15 items, we get these wings, but we also get a 15 times boost. Where does that boost apply? It's not to your judge score, it's to your model score. This is something I didn't understand at first, so uh, I think it's it just it's good to know. Um, so when you have this item, let's say you had the hair, you're gonna get a six times boost every time someone chooses you, your modeling character, right? So you'd get maybe a thousand tickets if you have the hair, now you get 6,000 tickets. So the people that are gonna win those modeling is the people that finish these grabs. So if they clear out the grab, they're probably going to win. Um, but so then sometimes Hi-Rise puts on these other ones. So these are bubble grabs. So this is for the next theme. So that's the, that's kind of, so for this one, it's a thousand bubbles per spin, um, which we can earn for free, right? Um, and it will provide a boost for the next one. So this will be a 15 times boost. And these other ones, you know, they'll, they'll be six times 1.3, um, the same as the other one. So there is a way for free players to kind of earn higher rewards in the next one, but you're going to have to finish this grab to earn high in the judging in the modeling category. So that's kind of, that's the grabs. That's where the grabs come in handy. So I want to show you another thing. Um, one thing you're going to want to collect every day. Um, if you go to the event shop, the people that are going to win 
and get the highest ranks in this competition are going to be the people that are, are spending the most money. <laughs> Sadly, that's how it works. You can score pretty high without spending money. I've done pretty well without spending a cent, but the people that are spending the most money on buying these packs up here are probably going to do the best. But one thing that we can do as free players, or if you're a free player, I'm not necessarily a free player, but we can buy these every day. So I can buy two glasses per day, which, you know, we talked about, gives you the automatic win. Um, you can buy three small energies and then one large energy. And I already bought my one energy, to, well, my large energy today. So that's what it will look like once you buy it. Um, it will say, come back in 24 hours to one hour. So, um, yeah, so I've already bought this today. But those will help us throughout. So you can collect those and those will carry on for the theme. So if you really, if there was a theme that you really wanted to score high on, you could save all your batteries and put them all into that one theme. And that's what I highly would recommend. Um, but let's look at some of the rewards for this event, right? So if we go over here, we can look at our rewards and I'm gonna scroll up to the top. So I have 1.8 million tickets so far. If we scroll down, you see at 800 tickets, you get a battery. All the way down here, you get at 57,000 tickets, you get these shoes. At 575,000 tickets, you get these pedal flare socks. Um, at 12 million, you get 50 gold, which is kind of nice. Um, at 14 million, you can get the flower tender. You know, it's not necessarily my style, but I like it. Um, and then if you scroll all the way to the bottom, this is normally the item that's the most, and it's very hard to reach this unless you're putting money in, but you can get this epic down here. Another reason we want to rank high is if we go up to the top here, we can look at these other categories. So the model rewards, if you score rank one to five, if you're one of the top five models, you'll get this little guy <laughs> and a bunch of other stuff, right? The tattoo, some energies for the next, next event, um, some tokens for the next event. So it will give you that boost up. Um, so we want to rank high, but it's hard to do without, you're going to have to drop some money. Um, so in this case, I'm ranked 10,000. I will get, <laughs> if I stay where I'm at, I will get one nice max battery, which, you know, it's something, <laughs> but not, not great. Um, but if we go over to the judges, so if our judging, if we're in the top 15, 1 to 15, you can win the, the legendary hair. But, you know, unless you're spending money, it's not going to be obtainable. <laughs> but let's put down here so we can see where I'm at. I'm at 2,800 so far. So if I keep my 2,800, I'll get this little mama cottontail. Or if I can push all the way up to 2,500, then I can get this shirt and the cottontail. So kind of nice, right? These will probably sell for, you know, 50, 100 gold each, make some money. It'll be nice. So that's why you kind of want to rank high. Now, in this event, you're going to want to be in a crew. For fashion, you need to be in a crew. If you go over to the crew rewards, we're rank 120 right now. Um, you can get, so we will get all the way down here. We'll get this apron is all we'll get. But if you're in a top crew, you know, you're going to get a legendary item. You're going to get an epic. You're going to get all this stuff, some grab tokens. So it's if the better crew you're in, the better off you're going to be um, and the more rewards you're going to get. So that's a little bit about, you know, that's why we'd want to event. We want to unlock all those rewards. But the other reason we want to be in a crew, and this is this is vital, right? We talked about how to boost our model status our model, our model boost. And that's by spinning this grab right here. So for this event, it's this grab. For the next event, it's going to be this grab. For the third event, it's going to be, or for the third theme, um, it'll be another grab. But we have our, how do we boost our, our judging? Um, and that's by being in a crew. Um, as your crew hits that max reward, we saw it when we went through, um, the max combo, you will unlock this. So at... 30 max combos for the crew in total, you'll get one lucky token. At um, 100, you get another lucky token. At, I think it's 400, you get another lucky token. And then at another one, or then you get two at 600, and at 1,000, you get another two. And these tokens, what they do is they will give you a three times boost for each token you use. Um, and we earn some in the rewards. 
you'll see we, we can earn some and sometimes you'll earn some if you're lucky in the max combo you get a max combo um, sometimes you'll get a lucky token and that's helpful but you can get a lot just from being in a good crew that's also eventing as hard as you are um, so that's why you'd want to be in that so to recap to score high you're going to want to come in here every hour and do your judging use all 15 of your energy and then you're going to want to make sure you're claiming these before you do that and using them towards your boost you can also use this boost towards your model if you're really trying to push the model rank um, but this it's you're mostly going to get the biggest boost out of using or spinning the grab if you're really trying to go for model uh, and anyways judging has way better rewards i mean you know you can get the crew the judging and the rewards tree so it's definitely more worth it to me um, so that's kind of that's kind of fashion event in a nutshell if that may if, if there's any questions leave them in the comment comments but what i'm going to do now is give you some tips and tricks on how to boost your scores into the millions right so we can get those best rewards okay so now we kind of get the gist of the fashion event and what we're doing let's break down some tips and tricks on how to maximize our score so when it comes to modeling the only tips I have for you is spin the grabs, use your boost tokens on the modeling, right? And make sure that your model has the biggest auras possible because that's how you're going to get the most votes. So that's modeling in a nutshell. For judging, we have a little, we have a couple more tricks that, that are better um, or more helpful. First one, event shop daily buy come in here spend your bubbles buy your one max battery buy your three small batteries and buy your two magic glasses it's just going to give you the most uh, it's going to give you more energy it's going to give you more tickets um you know you just have to do that it's a must if you want to hit those top ranks um the next tip is save your batteries for the end of the theme so why would we want to do that right the answer is you want to make sure you're using your batteries when you have the biggest boost possible so this boost can go all the way up to 61 times so we'd want to use our batteries when we're at 61 times because that's when we're going to be getting the most tokens per um, battery usage or per energy right so if you save those energy to save the energy for the end use all your batteries up during party time which we didn't even talk about yet which is the next tip that's how you're going to maximize your ticket usage the next tip that goes along with this is save your batteries for your party times so every eight hours you have this opportunity of a party time and i'm trying to see um, where it says it in this but um so every eight hours you have a party time and what that does is it gives a, a 30 percent boost to your tickets gained in your judging um so when you wake up in the morning you go to judge your party time is going to active then probably you know maybe like after lunch time ish right you're going to have your next party time and then right when you're going to bed you're probably going to get another party time so you want to make sure you're using your batteries and your own and energy during those party times so to maximize your tickets you're going to want to use your batteries at the end of the event with your biggest boost and i'm um, during a party time and i sorry, sorry i don't have an example of that right now um the other thing is crews will decide what theme they want to push they call it right so you'll have we we want everyone to throw everything you've got at theme three right um and we can see our themes up here so you there's this thing where you can do you can roll over your boost tokens so if we look at our boost tokens i've claimed these but i could actually leave them so the second boost token if this filled all the way up i could leave it and not claim it until the next theme so if i could have saved all of these use them towards theme two so that would have given me a huge head start um, when earning those tickets right because the earlier you get your boost the better off you're going to be the more tickets you're going to earn so saving those boost bars um for the theme that you actually want to push very helpful like this theme i mean the rewards aren't that great right so i could have saved it and pushed the next theme or the final theme um, any boost tokens that you have saved up 
up here um, in this in the corner up here those will disappear so if you've claimed them they will disappear but if you have your boost bar full and you haven't clicked on it to claim it you can save those ones for the next theme um, yeah so those are the biggest tips and tricks i have for fashion and i think this kind of sums up our fashion our fashion video here if there's if you have any tips or if you have anything that has helped you with doing the fashion event leave them in the comment section uh, maybe i'll address them in another video um, thank you everybody for coming and if you liked the video give a like subscribe and we'll catch you in the next video thank you guys